What if you could regrow a lost arm or leg? For some animals, this is reality, not science fiction. Across the planet, certain species can heal and rebuild entire limbs, organs, and even parts of their brains. This process called regeneration is one of nature's most astonishing secrets. How do these creatures regenerate their limbs? What makes their cells so special? Join me as we explore 10 extraordinary animals that defy the finality of injury. Our journey begins in the captivating waters of Mexico City's ancient lakes, a sprawling network that whispers tales of a bygone era. Here, in this unique ecosystem, we find the axolotl, a true regeneration superstar, a creature that defies the usual boundaries of biology. This incredible amphibian possesses the extraordinary ability to regrow lost limbs, a feat that has fascinated scientists and researchers for decades. But its regenerative prowess doesn't stop there. It can also repair its spinal cord, mending damaged tissues with remarkable precision. Even more astonishingly, the axolotl can restore parts of its heart and brain, and organs considered irreplaceable in most other species. This makes the axolotl a subject of intense study, offering potential breakthroughs in regenerative medicine. The new limb isn't just about replacement, it's a perfect replica, indistinguishable from the original. Each regenerated limb is complete with bone, muscle, nerves and skin, all seamlessly integrated to restore full functionality. What's truly remarkable is that axolotls can repeat this incredible process throughout their lives, showing a regenerative capacity that seems almost limitless. And perhaps most impressively, this regeneration occurs without ever scarring, leaving no trace of the injury. Their secret? The key lies in their unique life cycle. They remain in a juvenile, aquatic state, a phenomenon called neoteny, never fully undergoing metamorphosis. This allows them to keep their cells flexible and perpetually ready to rebuild, retaining a plasticity lost in most adult organisms. Starfish. Moving on to the vibrant coral reefs, teeming with life, we meet the starfish, a true master of regeneration. These fascinating creatures possess an extraordinary ability to heal and rebuild themselves. For a starfish, losing an arm is not the end of the world. In fact, it's hardly a disaster. Predation, accidents, or even strategic self-amputation are all part of life in the reef. Instead of succumbing to the injury, the starfish simply grows a new one, a complete and perfect replica of the original, complete with nerves, organs, and the intricate network of its water vascular system. This remarkable feat of biological engineering highlights the incredible regenerative potential hidden within these creatures. However, there's a catch. The arm must contain at least a portion of the central disc, the starfish's core, to initiate this complete regeneration. This process, known as fission, is a fascinating example of how starfish can not only heal, but also reproduce. Salamanders. In the woodlands and streams of the Northern Hemisphere, salamanders quietly regrow lost legs and tails. When injured, their cells at the wound site revert to a flexible state, forming a blastoma, a bud of potential. These cells then rebuild bone, muscle, nerves and skin, creating a flawless new limb. Salamanders can also repair jaws, retinas and even optic nerves. Scientists study them to understand why this ability is so potent in amphibians, but rare in mammals. Planarian worm. Now let's journey into the microscopic world, where we'll encounter a creature of incredible resilience. The planarian worm is a flatworm that possesses perhaps the most extreme regenerative powers known on Earth. Their bodies are packed with remarkable adult stem cells called neoblasts. These are the key to their extraordinary ability to rebuild themselves. Planarians can regrow an entire, fully functional body from even the tiniest fragment, 
a feat that defies conventional biological understanding. Cut a planarian into pieces, seemingly destroying it. And each piece, no matter how small, becomes a new, complete worm, a fact to their regenerative prowess. Green Iguana In the rainforests of Central and South America is the green iguana. It uses its tail as a survival tool. When threatened, it can shed its tail at special fracture points, distracting predators with the writhing appendage. As the iguana escapes, it then begins the slow process of regrowing its tail. The new tail is functional but simpler, made of cartilage, not bone, and often a different color. While not as perfect as axolotl regeneration, it's as powerful due to its resilience and adaptation. The iguana's regrowing tail shows that sometimes survival means letting go and starting anew. Sea Cucumber Deep on the ocean floor lives a creature with one of the strangest defenses in the sea, the sea cucumber. Though it shares its name with a vegetable, it's actually a real marine animal, closely related to starfish and sea urchins. Found crawling slowly along the seafloor worldwide, it has a bizarre way of surviving danger. When threatened, it ejects its own internal organs to startle predators and make its escape. This incredible defense doesn't kill the sea cucumber, it simply grows its organs back over time. This act, called evisceration, leaves the animal nearly hollow. Over weeks, the sea cucumber regrows its digestive and respiratory systems from scratch. It's a radical reset, relying on specialized cells to rebuild complex organs. This extreme strategy highlights the lengths evolution will go for survival. The zebrafish, a tiny aquarium favorite, is a giant in regenerative research. It can regrow fins, repair its spinal cord, and most impressively, regenerate heart muscle without scarring. Zebrafish reveal the genes and signals that orchestrate perfect repair. The zebrafish is at the forefront of cardiovascular research. Sometimes the smallest creatures hold the biggest secrets. Among mammals, the deer stand out for their annual feat of regeneration, the regrowth of antlers. Each spring, triggered by hormones, new antlers sprout from bony pedicles, growing at record speed, covered in nutrient-rich velvet. Antlers can reach massive sizes in just months. After the breeding season, they are shed, and the cycle begins again. The deer's antlers are a living example of mammalian regeneration. The octopus, it is one of the most fascinating creatures in the ocean, with its soft, boneless body and eight powerful arms. It glides through the water like a shadow, but what truly sets it apart is its incredible intelligence and its ability to regrow lost limbs. If an octopus loses an arm to a predator, it doesn't panic. It simply grows it back, fully functional, complete with nerves, muscles and suction cups. This regenerative power is not only for survival, it's also a clever escape tactic. Some octopuses will even shed a limb to distract predators and flee. In addition to regeneration, they can change color and texture to blend into their surroundings, vanish into crevices and squirt ink to confuse enemies. The octopus is a master of both camouflage and healing, a true escape artist of the deep. Tarantulas. They may look fierce, but these hairy spiders are surprisingly vulnerable, especially when they lose a leg. Fortunately, nature has given them a powerful tool, regeneration. If a tarantula loses a leg due to injury or while escaping a predator, it can grow it back during its molting process. Young tarantulas molt frequently, allowing for full regrowth in just a few cycles, while adults may take longer. During molting, the spider sheds its old exoskeleton and emerges with a new, slightly larger body, 
and in some cases, a new leg starting to form. Though the regrown leg may be smaller at first, it gradually returns to normal size over time. This slow but remarkable recovery makes tarantulas resilient survivors in the wild. Crabs. They are tough-shelled creatures, but when they lose a claw or leg in battle or escape, they have a built-in backup plan, regeneration through molting. Like tarantulas, crabs periodically molt, shedding their hard exoskeleton to grow. With each molt, a missing limb can gradually regrow, starting small and becoming fully functional after several cycles. This ability is crucial for survival, especially for species like fiddler crabs and blue crabs, where large claws are used for defense and attracting mates. Until the lost limb returns, crabs adapt by using their remaining legs and claws, showing impressive flexibility. Regeneration helps crabs stay in the fight, even after a close call. From axolotls to octopus, these animals show us that loss and injury don't have to be permanent. Imagine a world where humans can regrow limbs, heal hearts, and erase scars. If you enjoyed this exploration like, subscribe.